we've finished the model we should generally be reviewing doing a quick check make sure we put everything into the model make sure there's no alert as you can see here nothing's being flagged by hero as odd we could do a double check of all of the item and just make sure we've picked up everything that we need to be modeling i changed the climate zone just to a melbourne climate zone for this sample purposes specifications shown of double glazing and high insulation levels are probably more appropriate to a southern climate than what i originally entered in so now we're ready for simulation okay our simulation's finished you can see here the star rating 6.4 you can go into our results and start checking our heating and cooling square meter rates are 92 and 8. you can see here our kitchen living open plan space is obviously biggest consumer of energy we can see here it's mostly heating a bit of cooling it's the top cooling consumer as internal gains are usually quite high in kitchens we also see the entry is quite large in the study and then on the square meter basis we see that the entry study and hall are actually looking as one of the more poor performing per square meters space they don't really have any of the nice north facing windows that some of the other zones do such as despite being a large consumer our kitchen here is not on a square meter basis one of the worst so in terms of star rating, you'd be checking obviously against your jurisdiction's requirements, whether that meets it. You'd have to be checking the new NCC 2019 in some states for whether you're meeting your heating and cooling requirements or various states' requirements there. From this stage, you might start to optimize your model for your client, whether they're wanting you to spend some time optimizing some of the specifications that they've suggested. They might be open to changing some of those things. So we might change, run some tests on what impact some of the various specification elements are having. One of those might be just seeing what the wall insulation does back off a step, so changing from an R2.5 bat to an R2. And likewise, you might be looking at that for floors and ceilings or you might be looking at the window specification, seeing whether there's any optimization to either improve the rating easily or pair it back depending on the objectives of your client and yourself. We might be considering whether slab edge insulation is the most appropriate or under slab. We might be looking at whether these eaves are optimized in terms of solar gains based on your climate. You can see here that simulation's finished. We're at 6.3. So if that was still within our requirements, we might be suggesting some of those solutions to our client. So assuming we're ready for certification, that we're meeting our compliance requirements, our heating cooling loads, our client is happy with our final specification and rating, we'll take it to the Hero web portal and certify the project. So we'll click the certify button. We're logged in here to the portal already. We'll go add new project and upload that finished file. A good practice is always to generate the preview certificate and have a look at that before certifying. Some assessors will send this to client for sign off. Just making sure that this certificate's got the right details and everything's entered correctly. Project address is correct, client details are correct, etc. You can always replace a certificate in Hero if you've made a mistake. We won't charge you for any replacements or amendments to a certificate within a certain time period. So let's assume that we've got sign off and we can go ready to certify this project. This is during a beta period. We're using a 25% discount on certificate fees. We're acknowledging here at the top of the window that we've met our heating and cooling load limits. We're assuming the sample project uh, compliant in those regards and we can see here the it'll be issuing an accredited NatHERS certificate we've undertaken all of the training in the the hero web training portal and we have a accreditation with an AAO so we're all good to issue an accredited NatHERS certificate we'll go through the PayPal payment process to certify So the payment's gone through and the project's status has changed to certified. We can now download our certificate, download our stamp, download an invoice if you're after that, and save that. 
and now you could use your preferred PDF editor to add the stamp to the drawings for certification as per your AAO's requirements. This completes our sample dwelling walkthrough section of the HERO tutorial series. We hope you've found it useful and you've gained some insight into how HERO can be used for practical purposes within the industry.